この壁の向こうに何がある幼き日々に憧れた真実がすぐそこにあるしかばねの道の先に指輪が駆け抜けた木だけ翼を散らして心臓を束ねてもめくるやにはかゆすぎる太陽はまだ沈む Everybody, welcome to the three way、hey, good update、evening. show. Hello,、uh, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever you <laughs> want.、Uh, I am JP Lee Sure 101. That is my sister.、Dina. Hey guys, it's Abigail and DNA Gamer on Twitter. DNA Gamer on Twitter. I am Lee Sure 101, I think. I'm not really sure. Or JP Lee Sure, I'm not sure. Whatever. Point is, we are here to discuss、uh, season three of Attack on Titan. Of、yeah. course,、um, we had a big reveal this weekend、uh, based on that anime.、Uh, we thought it was going to be over, but apparently there's going to be one more episode. I, I hope so. I th- if they would add like a whole like another I, three or four episodes, I think. I, think, I thought it was going to be, I, I, thought it, I swear, I thought it was going to be like an hour episode. You know how sometimes they have like those anime shows like where it's the final, it's an hour episode for that season finale?、Uh, yeah. Apparently not. Um, well, you know, they actually did a long preview yesterday. I mean,、uh, from last week's episode, too. Yeah.、Um, they so, did the whole preview. So, and I was surprised at that. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I feel like moving forward, maybe they, they are going to release more episodes. I don't think so. I think the, the end of the season is coming soon. If it's not, it'd be very surprising to me. But、um, uh, I digress. So the point is of、uh, uh, uh, right today is to discuss season three up to this point. Um, we have finally seen who the Colossal Titan is. We have seen who the Armored Titan is, which appeared on season two.、Um, And we even saw the Beast Titan's true identity as well. Correct. So, essentially, I feel like this, I feel season three is way better than season two. I feel like season two wasn't pushed the right way、um, because I've read the manga. The, 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 the manga is, is totally. Fast paced, it keeps you、yeah. at a even keel, like it doesn't slow down. And I feel like season two slowed down everything way too much.、Um, I, I agree, but at the same time, season two was so pivotal because、correct. it revealed like two of the, the Titans, you know, that the, the identity, you know, it really, it, it was so it was necessary. It was like necessary filler, but it just took so long. It built it up、yeah. so long. And, so and I, I mean, they. They, did, they brought it back with season three, and of course, it comes hard hitting. It's the wall. Basically, season three,、uh, uh, part two.、Um, season three, part two is basically all、uh, the undertaking of Wall Road and,、yeah. um, to get to the basement. So, there's this, like, the, 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 and it goes、no, so far. I think it's Wall Maria. Isn't it Wall Maria? Wall Maria? I think、uh, well, it's Wall Maria. Yeah, it's Wall Maria, then it's Wall Rose, and then the last one is Wall Sheena. So, yeah, it's well, yeah, but yeah, you're right. It's, yeah, it's but、well. season, for, for season three's part two, just automatically hits on, on them getting there.、Um, then、uh, the、yeah. battle ensues, and it's, it's quick. Like, it's not no, and that's what I liked about it. It's not no, oh, let's spill this, let's spill that, or memories. There are some, I'm not going to say there's not. But it's not lagging, it doesn't lag to the point. So they,、right. you know, uh, uh, Aaron, uh, Armin, uh, Mikasa, Captain Levi, the whole crew, Sasha, they get there. They, you know, they're there looking for, for, for the Titans. They find the Titans, they have a battle in Tuesday. Yeah, it, 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 go, it went straight to like the showdown, like no,、mm-hmm. no lagging, like you said, no nothing. And、uh, I think in, in this season, really, you kind of also see Armin kind of get his, to his. Get into his own. Like, he steps up a lot, I feel, in this season the most. I, I, I would yeah, say he's I, probably my favorite character.、Honestly. Oh, wow. He's my、yeah. most annoying character for me. I really? Feel like he's, a, I, he's a little bitch. But,、um, you、uh, know, I, I, get, I got that too. Like, you know, he was always whiny. But I feel like, man, in this season, like, he really proved himself. He's, he's intelligent. Highly no, he intelligent. The intelligent part is there. And we finally find out certain things of season one. For example, we find out. About Marco and who actually、yeah. killed him. And it's really sad、uh, to see how the Colossal Titan and, and the Armor Titan,、um, which is uh, uh, Bethold and、uh, Raynor. Reiner. Reiner, whatever.、Um, I say Raynor. But uh, anyways, uh, they pretty much turn on him and they take his gear away 
and they just leave him to die. And it was, well, Reiner make Annie do it. Reiner yeah. was like calling the shots. He was just like, yeah, I'll just do it. Annie, yeah, just do and you it. can and tell because in season two, it showed like when they first got here, who was in charge. Uh, yeah. Thanks to the whole, uh, you know, so he, he was sent here on a mission. So right off the bat, you know, there, it, it's just sad how to see how you finally find out how one of the main characters from season one dies. And it's kind of yeah. sad. And then not only that, um, the Beast Titan, when, when they get to Wall Rose and they start attacking, we see the Beast Titan create a, 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 um, a trap uh, from one side and the other. On one side, he has all the giants circling. And on the other side, he has a colossal sight, like just throwing houses. And yeah. We see the end of what I like, one of my favorite characters, which is Captain Irvin, um, who goes out with a bang. Just literally. Just, he, he literally, like, he knows. Mm-hmm. Uh, essentially, the, the Beast Titan is throwing like these heavy rocks at them. He's crushing all the buildings. Like, he's leveling the whole field to the point where there's nowhere to hide. And I, I hate, but I kind of like it. It's like a love hate relationship. I hate it because even though you know that they're bad guys, it's so hard to dislike them. As far as as what, like as Reiner and yeah, as Reiner, it's very hard to dislike him because, well, you know, like he developed a split, kind of like a split personality. He started feeling he guilty right after. Yeah, Reiner. because he couldn't he couldn't handle it, so he got like a double personality. So, I think that's what kind of made him even more relatable and even more likable. Right. So it's one of the, the difficult things of this anime that for the first time ever, it's kind of hard not, like, it's kind of hard not to well, like. they're the enemy. The, they, they, yeah, they, they, they really know, are. They, they were friends and then they're enemies and then it shows mm-hmm. how they break the ties because Armin tries to convince Berthold during the battle before yeah, with Annie. Annie. Kind of to come Annie. to his side and mm-hmm. he's like, no, dude, I'm, I'm not falling for that shit anymore. Yeah. Like, you guys are going to die today. Like, it's mm-hmm. over. And, um, you know, and Captain Irvin, he knows, you know, he's having a conversation with Levi because of uh, the attack of uh, the, the Beast Time has killed the majority of the of the strong uh, scouts troops. And, and you know, the, the only ones that are left are rookies and they're protecting the horses behind the shack. So everything is getting like destroyed around them. And at some point, the, the Beast Titan was going to reach them. So he tells Levi, you know what? I, I let me go out with the bang. You go ahead and we'll cover for you. We're going to shoot these little green smoke to cover for you. There's like giants mm-hmm. around and you can climb each one and reach the beast time. But since I'm going to die, I put my life on the line. I need for you to kill this dude. Yeah, and pretty much. Like, yeah, you know, I, I order you. To Levi was it. like, of course, consider it done. Like, really yeah. Good. So, of course, we hear that big yeah. And we see the death of, of, of one of the main characters. I feel like the best commander that they had. Who- so, do you feel like given the the choice do you think they did the right thing in i feel like there was no other option armin or erwin well we'll we'll, we'll get to that point but uh, so captain urban dies like he rushes to the uh, the beast titan uh the beast titan uh, throws a rock kills him uh, kills almost everybody except one person and they're just rushing at them and just shooting up shooting up the green smoke uh the beast titan's like just kidding i'm having a good time laughing and then my favorite part of season three is Captain Levi, I mean, uh, 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 Levi uh, not, uh, gets there and he beats the shit out of the beast type. And then he rips him out, literally like rips him out. Rips him I out, puts like, yeah. like, him out, bitch. Mm-hmm. But a new surprise, uh, uh, there's another type, a carrier the cart, type. The a cart, cart type. titan. I don't know yeah. what the fuck it is. And it saves uh, um, uh, Zeke, because we find out the beast titan's name is Zeke. So it saves Zeke, it runs off, Captain Levi chases right after him, and then uh, we come to the part where the Colossal Titan, uh, Ar- 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 Arwen came up with a, with a plan to, he noticed Arwen. that every time it released heat, like it got sh- it shrunk and its power mm-hmm. diminished. So he forced the Titan to release all the energies and it basically burned the living shit out of Armin. Yeah. So Armin dies, okay, and it gives the opportunity uh, uh, um, for the Colossal Titan to not pay attention to Ar- Ar- Aaron, and that's Armin's plan because uh, Aaron transforms into like a statue and he like becomes a human and he comes behind him and chops him in the back of the head and yep. the neck. And so he pretty much uh, takes care of Berthold but at the price of Armin dying. So then we see that part where Captain Levi uh, 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 um, uh, is making it uh, and, and our, our Aaron is like crying like crazy. And at the same time, 
we all see Rainer come back to life and then get destroyed, luckily, uh, by the scouts because they ran out of one of their Thunder Spears. But if uh, Hanja Song came with one of her Thunder Spears, yeah, she saved the thing. I felt bad too because, like, her helper, the one that like saved yeah. her life, so like that was like a true like ride or die, and like to the very end, to the very end, man. Yeah, he saved her life. And, and, and R.I.P. Mobley. Name to be honest. R.I.P. Uh, Mobley. His name was Mobley. Mobley. That's right. Mobley. So. Um, uh, so you know the the, tag, the the armor tightens down, the colossal tightens down. Aaron's just crying. Uh, uh, then all of a sudden, another surprise. Uh, uh, the Beast Titan comes in riding that that cart Titan, and mm-hmm. then he's like, "Our father brainwashed us." And I'm like, "What? What?" what? And then yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, "You're my brother." And then it's a big surprise because you're like, "What the hell's going on?" Yeah. You know, and, and, and I know for me, when I first read the manga and I saw that, I was like, what the fuck is going on? And- uh, I, I kind of figured it. I had my, my kind of like suspicions. And the main reason why is because like he really does resemble Grisha a lot. Yeah, especially when he little lines here. Yeah, he and the glasses, you know, and because, you know, the mangas in, in you know, black and white, we don't see it in color. So when I saw this guy, I was like damn that looks like Grisha so honestly my impression was like this was like Grisha's brother or something oh I see but I never knew that it would be like hey like we're, we're brothers yeah and so Levi comes out of the wall and the beast is like fuck and he's like you know what we gonna continue this later I'm taking off so he takes off and essentially uh, um, Levi he was uh, able to rescue Reiner though yeah, so he leaves. That's what I was going to get to. He leaves. Levi gets on there. They're having a discussion about Armin. They're going to give the injection to Armin. Uh, the, the, the car titan saves uh, uh, Reiner. And then, uh, so Levi's like, you know what? Let's give the injection to Armin. And then the next thing you know, uh, one of the guys that was in the field with Captain Irvin comes up on the roof. He's like, hey, dude, Captain Irvin's alive. I got him on my back. Like, yeah. you need him. You need to give the injection to him. Because what they plan on doing is to feed Berthold. Uh, uh, that way they have that power of the Colossal Titan and um, they were like no like you know like give it to Armin and then like we see for the first time Mikasa and Eren go after Captain Levi because Captain Levi's like you know what he kicked that he kicked that I'm gonna go ahead and give this to to, uh, Captain uh, Irvin Uh, and and they're like just fighting they wanted for Armin and essentially I guess Captain Levi's like, man, dude, this guy's been through hell. He's been leading us through hell. Like, it's time for him to get some rest. Let him rest in peace. And he chooses Armin. I felt like he chose Armin kind of like because Armin was looking towards, like, the future. Kind of like a happier future. Because you know how Armin was always like, hey, you know, there's, um, there's different parts of the world that we haven't seen. Like, there's this and there's that. Whereas when Levi asked Erwin, like, what are you going to do when we get to the basement? Like, what are your plans after? Erwin was like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. So I felt like in some ways he's like, man, in some ways Armin is looking to the future towards a brighter future. And Erwin is just like, I just want to get to the basement and that's it. Like, my life is I can see that. Um, I feel like he picked wrong, in my opinion. Um, he should have picked Erwin. I think it would have been because Erwin was willing to do... Uh, whatever it took, he was willing. He was willing to uh, uh, kill, have people die uh, 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 with the word. You know what I mean? Like, cause he, he he commanded the troops. You know, he would command them to their deaths, and he would know that. And he would take that. You know, he would take that hell, knowing that it's that responsibility. Yeah, that responsibility. Like for their lives. And and I feel like that's going to be missing moving forward. Um, um, uh, so you know, they. That's just my opinion. Do, do you think they should have given it to to Armin? Um. In some ways, if you look back on it and the anime does reflect it, I feel like a lot of the ideas on how to counterattack the Titans have been in part because of Armin's quick thinking. Good, good. True, like, true. Armin is very intelligent when it comes to like uh, stuff like that. But at the same time, Armin has um, kind of like low confidence. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't have that leadership quality that Irwin did. Yeah. Because Irwin's like, hey, you know, let's get everybody pumped up. Like, we're riding to our deaths, but we're going to ride, you know, to the very end. And he had the power to kind of like be in that leadership position. So it's kind of hard to say because I liked both characters a lot. Yeah. And I think like this type of uh, uh, show pulls out your heart stream because you're rooting for characters to live. Yeah. And you're so used to anime for like the main characters, the majority of them, they live. 
But here, it, it's not happening. It's not and guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. And we see that with Irving, who's one of the major characters, Captain Commander Irving. Uh, 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 yeah, Irving. And, I'm sorry. And we I'm, had that brief Irving. scare. It's Irwin. It's Irwin. It's Irwin. Yeah. You know, we had that brief scare, like, in, in season two, you know, where he's leading him to save Aaron and, he, you know, he loses an arm. But, like, for a second, I was like, oh, shit, like, he's gone. Like, that's it. Yeah, yeah. But, and I, mean, I guess this time it was, like, I feel like in some ways I do agree with you. Like, it was his time. He had already been through so much. Like, he had dedicated his whole life. You know, because in the anime, it insinuates that, you know, uh, a girl that he liked got taken away from him because he was so obsessed with the scout and she ended up with someone else. Yeah. So it's like he had already done so much. He already dedicated so much. And I think Levi was just like, dude, like this guy needs a break. Like, let's just let him go. Yeah. Like, so time so they done. choose Armin and mm -hmm. Armin, of course, he's Berthold. And then we get back to the, the main goal, which is the basement. Yeah. They go, they get to the basement, they find these books and they find out. That what they were telling from the beginning is untrue. Yeah, they're not on an island on and by themselves. They're in a world full of people, and they're just on mm -hmm. an island by themselves. Like so humanity is not extinct. Humanity yeah, is extinct. still around, and it's thriving. It's them, the see, ones that are like super behind. <laughs> yes, and then you see a photograph of Grisha and his previous wife and his previous son. So then it, this episode, this next episode, goes into that story of, of what ended up happening. We see Grisha walking yeah. with, with his sister. And a, 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 their oh, alien. that that was like yeah, a super sad. sad episode. It didn't yeah. go into too much detail, but like if they you do the manga, the like, they do in the they, manga. They uh, they jacked them up. Like so, it's honestly, there's like a it group. reminded me of like the Jews in like the concentration yeah. camp. But that's what it, it reminded it's, me. Essentially, of. it's 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 two factions. There's the Marleans, and then there's the Eldians. And apparently, yeah. the race of Eldians uh, in the past. Uh, had the ability, thanks to one of their ancestors doing the Ymir. deal with the devil, Ymir, uh, to turn to Titan. So they subdued all, everybody in, in, in all in humanity, the, all mm -hmm. humanity, and, and they forced them, you know, apparently from what they've been told by the Marleans. So the Marleans, uh, they won a big battle, and then they, what they ended up doing was uh, they, they put the Eldians under constant, basically concentration camps. Yeah, pretty and They're pretty much treating them like shit. So mm -hmm. essentially, Grisha is an Aldean, and, and everyone in the island where Air is at, they're all El Eldians or Aldeans, whatever. They are. Eldians. And Eldians, and so essentially, uh, uh, they can all turn into Titans. So um, uh, they're treated like trash. Uh, they're uh, uh, Grisha's a little boy. Aaron's father, Grisha's little boy, with his with his sister. They go out, and and they're not allowed into the city. So they go out. Uh, you know, because you know they're kids; they don't know any better. And so yeah. the sister gets killed by some of the guards of the Marleans. So we see the history of Grisha, and then uh, it's, we see it's, it was it was bad. Like his it's a, it's a shitty episode. Like honestly, after I saw yeah. it, I was like, fuck, dude. Like, it was one of the the sucks. more depressing episode because it just his life was just like. It was yeah. like Debbie Downer. <laughs> yeah, and it goes through all this shit. Like he, yeah. he tries to, he like he tries to tell his father because he feels like the guard killed his 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 sister. His father's like just brainwashed and just trying to brainwash him. His father's older. just like, we don't want to be sent off to the island because when you get sent off to the island, it's like, oh, you're a titan. Like yeah. you're you're basically so you're, his father's just, titan. yeah, and and his father's pretty much just I feel like trying to protect the family, but. Grisha didn't understand that, or it. Well, well, just just to move quickly, um, you know, he goes to an adult. He starts trying to uh, fight the Eldarian power. He joins a secret group. Uh, in that group, he meets his wife, who turns out to be a long lost ancestor of like the king. Uh, Amir. Was, uh, uh, no, yes, he, well, the, the, of the, King the, Fritz. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of King Fritz. King Fritz is like was a leader of the Eldarians, but he left. He moved to the island, and he just. Pretty much so everybody if you come here i'm gonna release all these big old titans that are gonna destroy you so essentially that occurred and uh, uh um and they're trying to you know get back to to being in the rightful place the ldns and so grisha joins this group and you know they're trying to infiltrate the marleans and he come he tries to convert his son and his son zeke what you find out that's his son zeke yeah and zeke double crosses him and he snitches and he turns his parents in and they pretty much turned everybody around him um, into into mindless titans. And we find out that Grisha's wife is a titan that kills Aaron's mom. And, and he and it's crazy. And you're like, what the fuck? And like, she eats, crazy um, she eats that guard, too. She eats that guard, Han. 
Yeah. She eats Aaron's mom and she eats Han. I wish we had more time to cover everything. It's just, it's crazy how this episode, I think, was one of the most depressing episodes, but it felt like it leaves you in a sort of state of shock. Like, what the fuck? And are did they you going see the, with the Titan that uh, swallowed Aaron? He comes out in that episode, too. Correct. The guy with the beard. I was like, oh, snap. Yeah, it was a friend of Grisha's. So essentially, like, yeah. Like, Grisha's there with the people he they, they get they, so since Zeke uh, turns his parents in they 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 in turn get the whole group they turn into minus Titans they're killing them and then they have this contact called the Owl it doesn't help them and then Grisha's just crying and then he sees his wife get injected and turns into minus Titan yeah and they then, cut off they cut off their all their fingers and they stuff. cut off all their fingers like, yeah and, and so then he's like about to he sees he recognizes the guard next to him that transforms his wife into a giant he's like you killed my sister it turns out to be the guard that kills his sister. And the, they have a speech, a back and forth banter. Next thing you know, the guy that has Grisha pushes the, the officer uh, over the well, and he transforms into a giant. So we're to a titan. Uh, to a titan, yeah. So we're in a what the fuck. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much season three uh, uh, in, in a quick rush, a quick summary. So you, you think we're going to get at least one or two episodes more? Maybe one or two. Um, they still have to explain how Grisha gets to... Uh, the island and what happened. Yeah, so I I think we're we're looking at at least two more episodes. Perhaps. Uh, in, in initially, uh, it, I feel like season three answers a lot of questions, and yes. it brings into close the wall of Moria. I mean, the wall of Moria, the wall of Rose and Maria, and we, we Lord get of the some, Rings. You Lord of the Rings. Uh, so we get some closure there. Uh, uh, but initially, what did you think about season three? What what do you? Th- I think it was probably. I think it it's uh, possibly it's a it's a strong season. There was plenty of action. There was plenty of dialogue. There was plenty of uh, reveals. I think that this this season was kind of pivotal, you know, and, and it brought uh, to light, you know, a new world. It's a new world, so it, it's exciting. Yeah, essentially a new world, and I think. So where do you stack it with season one and season two? My fear is that I don't want it to be kind of like, kind of like Bleach, where it just leaves you in the middle of nowhere. I, I hope that they finish this season and I hope that they go on and actually like finish because there's so much more that happens in the manga like and and I hope that they continue the season and I hope they don't just stop and be like okay this is it this is the end like they well, rebuild everything and, and yeah. that's it well what do you what do you think it stacks up against season one and two like what do you think is the best one the best season I still think season one is by far yeah. one of the best seasons. Best one, yeah. Yeah, I think this it was is the, just... the second best season, season three. Yeah, I would one say yeah. Two. So season, it would be season one, then this season, season three, and, and last would be the season two. So yeah. for sure, season one will always be the the best one. And I agree because it's where they introduce all these characters, they introduced all the abilities, um, the the scouts. You know, it it focused a lot on the scouts, and I love that. Whereas these past two seasons it's kind of like oh the scouts are dwindling they're dying and i hate that because i love that faction yeah. of... well um we'll, we'll see what happens with the time yeah. in the future uh, i'm looking forward to the next couple of seasons especially since I know we're, me too. Far, we're far in the manga but thank you so much guys for watching thank Please you guys like and subscribe down below the bell should be around here um, if you guys want more feedback on Attack on Titan or your comments on Attack on Titan, let us know what you think, where it's going to go. Uh, I mean, the season, it's it's out of nowhere. We have no idea where it's heading. Uh, um, it's, 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 as we mentioned, we before, just want more. Growth. We yeah, don't know where it's want, heading. I, want, I don't more. want it to end. I want to know more exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. But thanks so much for, for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. We're on Anchor, iTunes, Spotify. Uh, we Twitter. are at the Three Way Podcast. We have Twitter. Uh, Instagram. We have so much. Uh, so thank you so much for following. Peace.